Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you step by step how you can easily use a Gantt in uh, Monday.com. Now I believe after watching this video you will know exactly how to use it. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just easily click add a view here. Here you want to simply find Gantt or you can go to more views and write it here and then open in the board. Now I'm going to show you how we can use it and what we can do here and how it actually works. So what we can find here, all you see in the main table as an active project or finished project, I can find in a Gantt. You can find also uh, the campaign management, create a website, Marcus Tonelis one. These are all the items, all the tasks that I can find in uh, the main table here. Uh, when you're gonna have you're gonna find also uh, the date so what you're gonna find here you can see the active projects active project are from july 3rd which is campaign management to september 15. if i'm going to make it to se september 29 look at it what will happen it's going to change the marcus tonelius september 29 and also in main table it's also september 29 if I'm going to add a date for Marcus customer project under the timeline, let's say this is going to be from here to here and I'm going to here, I can already see it. It's going to like uh, show me in a Gantt, but if I'm not going to have any dates, I won't be able to find uh, the task here. So that's another thing really important. Now, what else could you is really important are the baseline. So let me just show you, uh, you can easily click, click and just move with the Gantt. You have option to today. If I, if I go like, let's say here and I will click here, it's automatically gonna uh, move me to today date. Show all items in the best zoom. So let's say if I would have like a lot of stuff here, it's going to zoom in and zoom out for me. Now I can have months here. I can have weeks. I can have quarters or years again that's up to you what you're gonna choose and what you're gonna like use but again this is pretty simple to understand you're always gonna see the dates here and you're gonna find the active project here and you can collapse the menu uh, collapse the projects here so that's how it works now when we go even further you can go to three dots settings and this is the baseline of, of, of course, if I would click here baseline. Now you can choose the timeline columns. If you're going to have like multiple timelines, you can choose it here. So let's say that if I would come and come to main table and click plus here and I would go here and I would go with the timeline. And let's say this is going to be holiday. Okay, we can have holiday, right? And let's say holiday, this is going to be from 9 to 15 for the project. Then here, then I would have it here and here. So look how it looks like. When I go to Gantt, I can't see it yet. But what I can do, I can click on the baseline, choose timeline columns, simply choose holiday disable timeline and I'm going to see only the holiday for the active project because for the finished project I don't have any holiday. So right now when I could go like out of it here I can see again from September to September 3rd, uh, 30 and I can easily change the length of the holiday for specific tasks and items. Now, when I'm going to check only the timeline, I can see only the timeline here. I'm going to auto fit it. Here, group by, I can group it uh, or board. Look at this, or client. So I can always choose on the left side what is going to be different. So let's say the client of Lorenzo Harvey, uh, we have this one here, create a website. So I'll always see what is actually happening, how much time I have for everything. I can go by owner, right? And this is going to be only unassigned because I don't have it assigned to anyone else. So we can choose it uh, based on 
the analysis. So all the columns I can choose here and then see the difference based on timeline. And this is really great. So you can clearly see what you need to work on. And this is why Gantt is pretty effective tool that you can use. It's going to save a lot of time. So um, if you want to, of course, use it. Now, let's say I'm going to buy base client. And then I can go to label. And this is the label of DC. So you see the length here and you can go by owner or by timeline. Or you can change it to estimate hours, how long it should take. Also the country. So you can choose also the label and group in Gantt. Then we can see the view settings here. So you can also show group summary. You don't have to have summaries if you don't want to. Today indication. You can have disabled or enabled weekends. You can show color legends. Then you're going to see also the critical, critical path. Identify all the individual tasks that must be complete to finish a project on time. So let's say that, um, let's say like, look at this one here. You can have it too. Then you have baseline. Visualize compare the dates on your Gantt chart to an existing snapshot of the project. You can have enabled that too. Color by. And you can buy groups, by board, by owner. So you can choose uh, based on what color you have it, or what color you're gonna get it. So this is green, this is blue. When I'm gonna click on a Gantt, I can see it's a blue and a green. And now when I would go to the settings again, I can choose the groups here. And if it's going to be all groups or top groups, finished project, active projects. So if I'm going to have a lot of uh, groups here, Let's say I would have another one here, new group. I can go to Gantt, I can go to settings and choose the new group. And if I'm going to have items here with the dates, I could easily find it and see it here. So this is pretty much it. And this is how we can use the Gantt for monday.com. If you can have any questions, guys, uh, ask me down below in comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some feedback and guidance. You know how it goes, you know how it works and yeah. Thank you very much guys for for watching this video. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.